Okay, so we're going to be watching Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 3. And I'm not really sure what's going to be happening. Mostly because the last test ended in the last episode. And honestly, that test didn't really matter that much. It was the thing that happened afterwards that caused like the biggest commotion. In which basically Nagamo, who is the president now, had his second hand basically throw the test in order to get her and Horikita's right hand expelled. In which none of them really got expelled because they both paid with points to save them. Now here's the thing, in the end, Nagamo won, but I am trying to figure out what game they're playing because we know from the last episode that when it was nighttime, Hashimoto left the bedroom at like midnight and he met up with Ryuin, um, Horikita, and uh, Nagamo. So they're planning something. I Is it weird for me to believe that they're all planning against Ayana Koshi? Like I feel like Ryuin told them how much of a threat he actually is. And I also think Hashimoto is just speaking for uh, uh, Sakyanagi. So you have basically Ryuin talking to the class A's of, of each year. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Mesh with original content as always. All right, and let's get going in three, two, one, and go. Hello? No, uh, no subtitles? Cool. I'll understand. Ever since I got to the school, I've sworn I'd face whatever came at me head on. It hasn't been easy. Are we... Are we getting her backstory? What is it, President Nakimo? This student council room. Does it serve any real purpose? The student council room is wherever I happen to be. That's quite a unique point of view. Kind of big-headed. If you haven't come here seeking entry into the student council, -na 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 -na. then what is it you want? I've come to let you know that I'm about to mount an attack on her. And what's more, it could potentially result in her expulsion. I must say, I was hoping to keep her for my own amusement. One should so you're just going to be okay with this? Expected, sir. Okay. Interesting. Did, do we do we all already know that Ichinosa was on the student council? I, th I feel like we may have been told that, but just went over my head. So why'd you do it? Do you have a new boyfriend now, Karuizawa? No, oh. I just felt like it was past time for me to come into my own. So, so what's the story? She breaks up with him, or he breaks up with her, or is that like a mutual? It would appear Karuizawa and Hirata broke up. How oh, anticlimactic! Just now happened. That was like a while ago. Since you seem to be close to them both, were you aware? Of course, of course I wasn't. Come on. We never discussed their private lives. I heard the news. Karizawa dumped you? She did. Ah. Uh, Whoa, dude. Condolences. You have no social skills. You gotta give the man some comfort. Oh my gosh. Ignore him. Good morning. Oh, why are you here? Would Haruki Yamauchi be here by any chance? That's me, uh, guilty as charged. Do you think I could talk to you? Oh no, you're gonna get persuaded up the wazoo. Yeah, sure, I'd be happy to. What? How about we go talk over there? <laughs> All alone? Oh no, he's basically getting kidnapped. <laughs> Wait just a minute, Yamauchi. Why? What is it? I think it's a trap. It is a trap. Why in the world would she be interested in talking to you? Well, what in the hell does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all know. Across as an insult. Don't worry, I won't let any sensitive info slip. I'm coming. Oh, the naivety. I am not buying it. Could Saka Yanagi really like Yamauchi? No. Speaking of Hirata, I always thought he'd break up with Karu Izawa eventually, but she did it first. Mm-hmm. You did? Why? When I think of Hirata's type, I see him being more into quiet, beautiful, elegant girls. Who? Takara. Very pretty, though. When you say so, Kiyotaka? I wouldn't know. What, what, what kind of answer was that? I wouldn't know. Let's cut the gossip. We're supposed to be studying for finals, and a failing score means expulsion. Remember? Do we really have to do Hikaru? that now? Yeah, we do it I later. would love to understand. This is what happens when it just now gets put into English. You to meet me like this. Sorry, just call me Michan. Everyone else does. Oh, Michan. All right. And do I have to? <laughs> All right, sure. Could you tell me a little bit about Hirata? 
Why ask me that? It's not like I'm especially close to him. Is there anyone that Hirata has his eye on? Oh my gosh. I can't be sure, so don't quote me. But Karuizawa just broke up with him after all. He needs time to heal. This made a break. Have a chance with him, though? Absolutely not. He might even be working through some guilt because he wasn't able to make Karuizawa happy. Yeah, Hirata is sensitive like that. Have you talked to him before? It's funny. I think I had the wrong idea about you, Ayu Nokoji. In what way? You keep to yourself and don't talk very much. So I thought you'd be kind of scary. But now... You are right I to think, I think that. Hirata relies on you. Always rely on your gut. It's surprisingly easy to talk to. It's because like, he doesn't talk back. I have this Barely. you were really listening to every word I said today. Hiyori, hi! Hiyori? I'm gonna spell it completely wrong. So, uh, Smart Ayana Koshi. Good friends or something? Kinda. We read books together. Oh yeah, that is technically correct. That's cool. It's really great that you can make friends in other classes. We all should. Yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, I'm with you there. Apologies for being late. So what's this all about? Uh, do you think Hanami likes me? I asked you to meet because I've heard strange rumors swirling around Ichinose. Well, that's random. I'm guessing it's, uh, what Takianagi. I wrote up a summary. He doesn't need summary. He needs facts. They could easily be written off as jealousy and spite. One would think so. Okay. are spreading among the first years too quickly for that. What about what the... to assume there's some truth to the rumors after all? The guy in class Fake D. Details, but a core of truth. The air plausibility would make the rumors spread faster. As of right now, we have no legitimate reason to intervene. There's a chance it could make Ichinose perceive us as enemies, too. And she's like somewhat trust you guys, right? I'm not sure. If I were my brother, what would I do? Being class A? I'm not sure. Sorry to call you over this late, Ichinose. Thanks for coming. Oh, just gonna come straight out with it? I'm just honored that you care enough about me to do this. You too, Ayana Koji. Thanks. Oh, how did how did he get sucked into this? Totally frank. First, I wanted to see if you have any idea who's spreading them. Unfortunately, I still can't say for certain, but I think it might be Saki Yanagi. Okay. She kind of declared war on me recently. All right. I guess that's not enough on its own, right? I don't know. Possibly is a threat worthy of destroying. And they're doing you a lot of harm by spreading these baseless rumors. Oh, I think that's up for debate. They're not baseless? By keeping quiet, I'll minimize collateral damage, thereby helping both Class B and Class C. What are these accusations? Then let's work together. I would really prefer it if you didn't get involved in this. Why did that voice There's change? There's no reason to. The last thing you guys want is to get on Saki Yanagi's bad side. Ah, uh, they're already there. Thanks for having me over. Later. But I made tea. But if she does take Ichinose down, then she'll just come after us next anyway. That would benefit us. Are True. You saying you don't care what happens to Ichinose. Uh, no, not really. We're cold to the core. Why act so shocked? It's not like this is anything new. <laughs> this is so true. We have a common enemy right now. Let's take down Class A and then focus. Depends on, on who Ayana Koshi thinks is the enemy. You're an idealist now. You're still here? She was hoping to speak with you. Could we have a quick chat? Mm. I don't know what to say. Except I truly am sorry. What are you sorry for? About all the rumors. Well, that's what I wanted to say, so... Thanks for hearing me out. See it... you! Is that really it? Are you really just a nice person? I'd be kind of upset. Over here thinking you have a dark side. Like Kushida. Who is this? Oh. Your reunion. Start talking or I'm hanging up. Kiyotaka Ayanakoji. Was I supposed to know that voice? Interesting. So they're making their move then. I feel like I feel like I know that voice. Something going on? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ayanakoji. 
Someone put a strange letter in all of our mailboxes. That's very dedicated. Honami Ichinose is a verifiable criminal. Those ridiculous rumors have made it quite far. After a brazen accusation like this, the school will have to get involved, right? Yes, and that is a fact really? that the culprit was certainly aware of. This is getting way out of hand. Yeah, you're an innocent victim here. This is nothing. Don't you worry about it. We need to take definitive action. You have to nip it in the bud before it goes... There has to be some truth in this, as, and this is why she doesn't want to bring it to light. Hey, do you have a minute? You're from Place, right? Masumi Kamado. Okay, and just throwing out names left and right, like, goodness. So what do you want to talk about? It's gonna be a long one, so how about you get me a drink? It, the, okay. the guts of this girl. You're not gonna drink it? What, are you suspicious of me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? I, I made the cough. I made it for you. You are not at all like your classmate, Yamauchi. Mm. No. What do you think of that letter? Just being a criminal doesn't make someone a bad person. Interesting take. Okay. Well, would you believe me if I tell you what Ichinose is hiding? It was after the entrance ceremony. <laughs> like, peers out of the corner. She's just... <laughs> Wait just a moment. <sighs> she caught up to you? That. You shoplifted, didn't you? <gasps> she has dirt on you? You walked into that store and took that can, though you don't even like it. You did it for the thrill. Just turn me into the school already, will you? I think I'm going to give you the honor of becoming my very first friend. A fr friend? Doing friends now? I used to be a habitual shoplifter. Ichinose's secret is the same as mine. She shoplifts? The history of shoplifting? Huh. You need to stop Saka Yanagi. You can make this happen, can't you? Let me prove I'm not lying. Did you just, did you just shoplift? Is that proving it? You see? I suppose this makes it easier to believe your story. Uh, Good. I'm glad to hear it. Best of luck, then. What's up? Aina Koji. I wanted to inform you of something. <laughs> Kikyo Kushida just has made contact with Miyabi Nagumo. Okay. Interesting. So she she wants the Prez to do the same thing she's been trying to do this whole time. Just trying to get both Ayana Koshi and Horikita expelled. It's not going to happen. Maybe. Goodness gracious, there's a lot of moving parts in this episode. Like, there's a lot of people asking Ayana Koshi for advice. For, like, what does he think about these types of things. Uh, there's deals going on like it's starting to feel like game of thrones in this so hanami is part of the the council and basically saki and nagi told nagamo like hey just letting you know before you start coming after me that i'm going to be going after uh ichinose what i found weird is nagamo was just like accepted it he didn't tell her no he didn't try to persuade her to pick someone else he basically took this as a done deal like, if Sagi and Nagi has something in mind, it's going to happen no matter what. I do want to know, what is it that Sagi and Nagi is, like, how is she using this guy? I'm guessing he is kind of her lapdog in a sense of maybe he's the one that's putting on the letters in the lockers. Maybe he's the one that's starting all these rumors. Though, I feel like... In order for rumors to spread, you would need a reliable source to kind of start them, or like a trustable source. So to pick this guy as the source of information, I feel like not many people would believe him if he were like the main guy to spread these rumors. No offense, sir. But then the the information that uh, Yosuke and Karu Izawa, I, I, I know I'm butchering that name. But the, the the information that they both broke up, that they broke up, came out. Now, I I thought the information was out already. Like, it seems, it seems like it's been a while. But the information finally came out. Uh, they said that Karu was the one that broke up with him. So you have all of these girls talking to Yanakoshi, trying to figure out how or who Yosuke is. I don't really know if this is going to matter at all, or if this is just something that fluffs up the episode. I do, however, think uh, Sheena 
right sheena is that is that that's her name she might come into clutch for ayana koshi because of her people reading abilities or maybe her her spy abilities i feel like she would be useful in this scenario trying to i don't know get closer to ichinose i mean she is class d now right because she was in ryuman's class i think i don't know I, I i feel like the fact that she's been introduced not only in episode one of the season but then also in this season or this episode as well she has to be of some importance when it comes to either helping ichinose or taking down sagianagi but i don't know like eh. i'm guessing sagianagi and they're guessing sagianagi so that puts me in a weird position because if they're all saying sagi and nagi then i'm hesitant to believe it's actually sagi and nagi because at this point it'd just be too easy and i think it was either yanakoshi or ichinose or I, it was someone else saying that oh that would be the easy choice so i'm starting to think maybe it could be someone else even though we have all the evidence to believe it is sagi and nagi but they they start by just calling out rumors now we don't know exactly what the rumors are i know we know that one note that said that she's a criminal so there is some truth of this matter and the, the fact that it is somewhat truthful is the reason why i think ichinose isn't like fighting against this rumor right like the fact that it's somewhat true is the reason why she's trying to keep quiet like she doesn't want to bring too much attention into this because if she fights back like now that invites the people to bring receipts and once the receipts are out like she you can't run from it though i don't know how much of her past would influence her future when it comes to this school like obviously her being like called out as a criminal could i don't know why i say could like it will expel her and i feel like if she if it if it's true if what sagi Naki says is true that she is the bank for all of class b if she gets expelled that there goes all of class B's points unless she just quickly transfers it to someone else before she gets expelled. So I don't know. I, I think Horikita is going to involuntarily bring Ayana Koshi into this mess because Ayana Koshi doesn't want to deal with this. He, wa he wants to just sit on the sidelines and he hopes he hopes class B gets demoted because if class B gets demoted and they get to go up to class B, therefore it is one less person for him to fight. But Horikita probably won't want that to happen he's more like short-term focused with the fact that ichinose has been nice to them this whole time therefore like we should be nice as well and help her out and then this girl comes to talk to yonakoshi just randomly yeah it's hard because this is the second person that is coming up to yonakoshi that says that the pre the person that they're working with they don't actually like so it was her with uh sakinagi it was the girl in the last episode with nagamo so i'm starting to see this occurrence happening that i i'm kind of with ayana koshi on this where like you shouldn't really trust people who work for this person but you can always take things with a grain of salt and i don't think her stealing that can at least to me is enough to prove that she's speaking the truth like it, it obviously it tells the truth that she it's a shoplifter, but she can still be a shoplifter and then me lying about the whole Sagianagi thing. And then she's saying like, hey, you need to take Sagianagi out. Like he doesn't have enough stuff on his plate. He's tasked by Horikita to take out Nagamo. That's a big task in, of a, in and of itself. And then he's still trying to get to class A. And now he's trying to take out Sagianagi. And on top of that, he has to deal with freaking Kushida, who's now taking it up with the big boss to have Ayana Koshi and Horikita like assassinated. Because already Nagamo thinks of Ayana Koshi as a threat. Sagi Nagi thinks of Ayana Koshi as a threat. Now you have Kushida coming up saying like, hey, we got to take out Ayana Koshi and Horikita. Of course, they're going to be like on that train. Oh, look at that. They just now updated it to where I can see the names. Uh, thank you guys. So in the last two seasons, basically he, the only people he really had to keep an eye out was Ryuwin because of how much he wanted to take out Class D. Like he was the he was the main person you really gotta watch out for. But now in season three, you got 
everyone, or it seems like everyone, has it out for Ayana Koshi. And I don't really know. I mean, here's a, here's one thing I like about the show. All right, I like multiple things, but here's one of the things I like about the show is the fact that no matter how many times I think Ayana Koshi is put up against the wall, Ayana Koshi always finds something to turn the tables and proves me wrong. And I love that. That's the main reason why I love Death Note. So I, I feel anxious towards Ayana Koshi, but I know in the end Ayana Koshi is going to do something to just shove it down their throats. But anyways, that was my reaction to Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 3. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want to know anything more, put a comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.